So let's talk about hardening our security, all right? Let's talk about actually what we might do to implement some of those security controls we just talked about. Specifically, you need to realize there's no simple solution. There's no one solution fits all. There's no magic pill to be taken to say, hey, uh, I can go ahead and, and buy one piece of gear and it's going to protect me. And I think that's, that's part of the illusion that many of your clients or, or organizations may have. Uh, again, they're listening to marketing people. They think they're, they're completely safe. They think there's no risk involved anymore. They, they think they're all good and happy to go and they don't realize that, that there's just no way to completely get rid of risk and there's no simple solutions. All right, there's no magic here where you can just install one piece of gear and be good to go. You know? So what you need to realize is that, uh, and explain to your clients is, the factors that make it that there is no single solution. All right? Operating system. Operating systems are millions of lines of code. Uh, operating systems get released with known vulnerabilities in them. All right, they, 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 trust me, out of the, the 75 or more million lines of code in a given operating system, trust me, they're out there and, and, and they've been released with known vulnerabilities that just have not had the time to be patched yet. All right, it's important to, to keep these things rolling so they go out there and many times the deployment's deployed with uh, actually known vulnerabilities. All right. Um, there's also the, the idea of complexity in your network. How much legacy do you have talking to how much that's new? How many of those legacy applications force you to do things that, that may not be of the most current uh, security posture? All right, so you've got all of these things that play into the complexity of the network as well. It also comes down to many times when processes, applications, systems are created, they're created to work first, right? You, you need to have a working product. And many vendors will go ahead and get their product to work and then try and overlay security on top of that. They try and go and say, wait a minute, we, we need to consider security now that everything's working. Well, when you do that, it's almost always doomed to failure because really security has to be an integral part. It's got to be created and put into that product from day one. And when you try and overlay it on top, more times than not, you're going to have inherent vulnerabilities in there. You're just not going to have as good a product as far as security goes as if it had been a consideration from the beginning. So you have to realize that many of the products that are out there may not have the security that they should. All right? So just kind of consider that, that, that when they say most vendors don't take security seriously, what they're saying is they, they take it seriously, but they, they may not... Uh, be doing as effective a job as they could by trying to put security in from the beginning and that may lead to vulnerability.